the term individualism sucks. It's just really unfortunate. What we're really getting at is what Sheldon Richmond calls social cooperation over social coercion. There is no people doing things all by themselves as the cartoonists love to make us out to be. So I, I love that definition. G give me that definition one more time. Rights are mutual reciprocal understandings between what I, well, one way to say it is between sentient beings. That's the simple way of saying it. Rights are mutual reciprocal understandings. And look, this has made me unpopular in a lot of circles because a lot of people are, you know, natural law adherents believe that rights exist in nature and they can be derived from existence in a, in an objective um, deterministic way. And what I'm trying to tell people and clarify with my definition of rights as mutual understandings between people is that they're way more fallible than people think they are. Rights are these whimsical paper thin, almost just these, these magical things that you're lucky to have with your best friends. And they are so paper thin that all it takes for you to lose them is for somebody to decide to stop reciprocating that agreement with you like this asshole. He doesn't reciprocate. So if you say, well, I have rights, I have property rights to this guy. He'll be like, I see nothing. I don't agree. I don't see your rights. And there's, there's not any physical tangible right in nature that you could raise up in front of you to defend yourself against this guy when he comes for your money. It's just a concept and he doesn't agree. That's how frail these concept, this, this reciprocation of rights is. All it takes is for an asshole like this to disagree that you have property rights and suddenly your safety and security in your own property evaporates, at least between you and this guy.